all right, everybody? How is it going? Now, I came across an article. I found it quite interesting. I don't know if you'll find it interesting, but I found it interesting, so I thought I'd share it with you, unless you've already seen it. So then it'll be repeat. But anyway, nevertheless, use the article. And it says, EV battery giant. I'll start again. EV battery giant, BYD, and is it CATL or CATL? I'm not quite sure. Let's say CATL. So BYD and CT CATL form a Chinese powerhouse to build solid state batteries. Now, when people start talking about solid state batteries, they all oh, they recoil a little bit because it's a we've heard about solid state batteries for a long time. Now, solid state batteries, they're not a myth, they're not made up. They are solid state batteries around um but they're not practical for putting into cars at the moment i mean i don't think you can do mass productions difficult um so many charging cycles it, this is a i'm not quite sure or no the ins and outs but at this moment in time it's not quite ready to slot in a car and you know off you go whoopity do <laughs> so it's not quite ready there yet but there are certain types of solid solid state batteries already working um but like i said not quite suitable for cars yet on a mass scale okay so now toyota they keep promising us the world <laughs> toyota promised the world and they never deliver um they've been blabbing on about um solid state batteries for as long as i can remember and i think i read they got 1,500 patents for solid state batteries. What? <laughs> 1,500 patents for solid state batteries? I hear you say, but well, why are none of them working? I don't know. I don't know. Toyota, what are you doing? <laughs> you're squirreling, squirreling away with all these patents, but you're not coming out actually delivering the goods. Um, now, I don't know if other, other companies have got that many patents for solid state batteries, but I think I read on here that uh is it catl or, or byt one of them they've got about 100 patents for solid state batteries now i reckon i'll stick my neck out i go on i'll stick my neck out i reckon that the chinese these chinese uh battery makers and car makers obviously um i reckon they're going to go into beat everybody to the punch because I think they've, they've been spending a lot of money on battery technology and they seem to be the ones who are surging forward quicker than anybody else. You can argue that in the comments if you want and say, you're talking rubbish. <laughs> a lot of people people do go in the comments section and say, I'm talking rubbish, which is fair enough. Um, like I said, you know, I can't store every bit of information in my brain. Um, but but uh, the headline says, BYD, CATL, but it also says here, a Neo are teaming up for an all-star lineup uh, aimed at developing solid state batteries uh, for EVs, obviously. Um, and it says, in a move that could revolutionize the EV market. Now, I, th I think it could, like I just say, and I think that the Chinese are pushing forward. They, they, you know, they've come from, from, from behind. They're a bit of a dark horse, and all of a sudden, they're surging forward. Um, and they're taking all the other car manufacturers by surprise. surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, because they do, you know, most of the batteries are coming from the Chinese now. And what else did I read? There's a few other things in you that... Um, now you are BYD and C CATL. The batteries are used in Teslas, BMW, Toyota, Mercedes-Benz, Kia, Ford and other leading EV makers. Now, I know Tesla hasn't just dipped their toe in. I think, I think they, they're using a lot of batteries from uh, CATL, I think it is. They're using the lithium phosphate LFP batteries, is it? But you don't remember saying you have one of the best ones. I, I don't remember. <laughs> lithium ion phosphate. Am I getting our right? LFP batteries. They're using them. And I think they're going to be in the... I was watching the Electric Viking, not so long, but oh, earlier on today. And he was talking about the Model Y. Uh, they've said in North America, they've said 
the Juniper version of them, you know, the updated Model Y, won't be coming to North America this year. But it will be coming to Europe, I think, and China, and other markets, Australia. Um, and I think, he, I think he was sort of saying that it's all to do with the batteries. And I think that uh, in, in America, your batteries, to get all these sort of incentives, your batteries, all your stuff's got to come from America. If they use other batteries from either way, elsewhere, then certain incentives go out the window. So I think that's one of the reasons why. And I think he mentioned that Nevada, they're going to be building, I think they're in cahoots with one of these companies. I think it's CATL in cahoots with. And I think they're going to be building, they're going to be building their own LFP battery plant in Nevada. Uh, I think that's right. Um, so, BYD, CATL, and it says NEO. Uh, I, I think they're going to, I, th I think they are going to sort of push forward and I think they might be the first ones to come up with mass market uh, solid state batteries. If Toyota comes out with their first, I'll eat my, I'll eat my art. Because <laughs> they're very quiet. They keep saying they got these fantastic, uh, you know, they got these fantastic solid state batteries that are coming very soon. Well, they, they've been saying that for like, I can't, I can't remember how long. Years, I mean years. I mean more than 10 years, I think. Um, if they got them, well, use them then. Come on, let's see them. Show us some evidence, isn't it? Not just keep saying we're bringing them, we're bringing them. Uh, so if I look down a little bit further by here, the alliance includes top battery makers, CATL, uh, BYD's, uh, what was that? Some subsidiary to BYD, Fin Dreams, CALB, EVE Energy, and is that Goishan? Goishan High Tech. Uh, and automakers like Neo and BYD, BYD will also join in. It's a lot of words, a lot of, not, not words, a lot of little <laughs> letters. I don't know whether to say it's CATL or CATL. I think it's CATL. Why am I getting so, why, why am I making it so difficult for myself? <laughs> um, so there we are. So they got like they got an alliance. Now, I do know that. I think it was CATL as well have won an award uh, for the best battery innovation for 2024 was it just just awarded to them because of their new nfp batteries that come out so they're just they're zooming ahead aren't they um and i think they're leaving and all the others behind and like i said tesla's using a lot of their batteries as well so i think they're gonna tesla's gonna lean on their technology as well so what do you think about uh solid state batteries is it the is it the golden ticket or the uh <laughs> what's what's the opposite of the golden ticket uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, the the grey goose. Um, what do you think? Do you think that we're going to see solid state batteries in electric cars before twenty thirty? And will it will it be cheap enough as well? Is it going to? If we do get solid state batteries, is the price going to shoot back up again? Is it is it going to be like cars with solid state batteries, and the price is going to shoot right back up again, and only the top end people can get them again? And then all the all the paupers have got to stick with the cheap LFP batteries, <laughs> which I don't mind because they, they 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 these these LFP batteries uh, turn out to be quite good, aren't they? Um, you can charge them to hundred um, percent. The, the fire, you know, they don't catch fire as much. They're a lot safer, more stable battery. And I think you can charge them. They're new ones. I can't remember the name of the new ones, but they charge better in the cold weather as well, which is. Uh, so there we are. I just thought I'd bring that little bit of news along because um, I thought it was quite interesting. I'm always interested in batteries and I'm hoping that there's some big massive breakthrough and then you could really sort of shut up the blimmin' anti-EV people once and for all then, couldn't you? Um, you could just say, look, super, supersonic battery. No, it, it wouldn't shut them up though, would it? What am I saying? It wouldn't shut them up at all. Anyway, I'm waffling. <laughs> You could make an electric car with a solid state battery that never catches fire, does a thousand miles, charges in five minutes, and it only costs 10 quid. And they'd still moan and say their diesel car's better. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> anyway, that's my waffle for the day. If you like this video, subscribe, like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hoi! -ho